In this lecture, you're not going to learn how Flask compares to other web frameworks such as Django or Ruby on Rails. There's a million blog posts on that subject, so feel free to research them on your own if you're seeking that answer. Actually, on second thought, I'll give you a simple one-liner. Flask is less opinionated than Django and Rails, and there's less batteries included. I'll be honest with you, I use both Flask and Ruby on Rails. Sometimes I come across project ideas that simply work better in Rails because there are better supporting libraries in Ruby than there are in Python. Other times I just feel like writing Python instead of Ruby because it makes me happy. Every once in a while, I'll get hired for a contracting gig, and it just so happens that another developer on the project knows Python, so I'll recommend using Flask. I wanted to include this lecture because as a teacher, one of my personal goals is to inspire you. I hope that doesn't sound too pretentious, but I have a strong urge to pass down knowledge I've gained to others. I'm going to attempt to answer the most elusive question in the history of web development, and that is, what's the best web framework? The answer to that is very simple. It's the best tool for the job, and that answer is going to be different for everyone because your personal skill set and the situation at hand is going to play a role in the answer. Your goal should be to write the most maintainable code in the shortest amount of time using the best tools that you know how to use. Most importantly, your happiness level needs to be high. The absolute worst thing you can do is not take any action, and instead, just spend all of your time comparing web frameworks. If you do that, you'll gain no experience and accomplish nothing. Chances are, you want to learn more about web development to accomplish a goal. This could be to create the startup of your dreams, get into consulting, or get hired at the most badass tech company around. None of that is going to happen if all you do is read Hacker News and get overloaded by the next best thing. Just about everything you read about Rails not scaling or Flask being terrible for large applications is false. Rails does scale, Flask is awesome, and so are a lot of other web frameworks. This course is going to be about Flask, so if you're still interested, then join me in the next lecture where I talk about a few massive companies who use Flask to serve a mind-boggling amount of traffic. I'll see you then.